Okay, <clears throat> I just saw this video where a guy was explaining how to cut holes in a tennis ball uh, to put on chairs or tables or whatever. Well, he wanted you to get a drill and a saw and all this stuff because he had cut his thumb and he was showing you the easy way to do it. Well, I'm going to show you the actual easy way to do it. All you need is your hand, a tennis ball, and a knife. And if you don't hold the ball like an idiot, it won't be hard to do. Hold the ball. This is hard to do with my camera. Um, because of what I'm using to prop it up on. So when you hold it, you don't want to cut towards your thumb. Because that's what the other guy did. So you want to cut away from your thumb. Hold the ball from the back. Doesn't take much pressure. You see I'm holding a knife? That's how you hold a knife. Wherever you point your finger is where the blade's going. You don't hold it like that. You hold a knife like this. Okay? You want to cut away. Point goes in. Give it a little wiggle. Just cut about an inch or so. Come back to the middle. Again, watch your thumb. Cut away from your hand. Spin it. Don't turn the knife around and try to cut backwards. Fingers on top. There you go. Let's make that one just a little bit longer. See how easy it is? You don't need a drill. You don't need a hacksaw. You don't need a vise. You just need to know what you're doing. Alright folks. Enjoy sliding around on your chairs and walkers. and Old people don't break your hip. Thanks for watching.